Instagram DM, Instagram direct message, no matter what you call it, most of you know what it is. And some of you may have even used it to send some unsolicited pictures of your cats and dogs to unsuspecting users of the same or opposite gender. Now, Instagram DM is the single biggest networking opportunity of this decade. And today I'm gonna to teach you how to use it to create more sales, to increase your engagement on the Instagram platform, and to use it to create growth for your business. All right guys, no intro today. And remember I told you yesterday in that video that my hands shake really bad while I wasn't lying. You're gonna get a glimpse of that right now, all right? I just wanna show you something before we start the video. Now this doesn't have anything to do with Instagram. Some of you guys and girls can really appreciate this. Yamaha EX Sport. Picked that up the other day, actually a couple weeks ago, and I had a chance to test it out already. Post some footage up right here that's actually Lake Butler in Windermere Chain of Lakes. Really nice place to go take your boat and jet ski out. I've almost died a couple times on it already, so hopefully I'll stick around for a little while longer. All right, that's enough of that. Back to the video. Now listen, guys, this is something to take advantage of now because as of right now, you can direct message anybody on the Instagram platform. There are literally no privacy controls. If you're not following somebody, Instagram will put that message into a request folder, but they still usually send a notification. So you still get a notification that you've been DM'd. Now, you don't have to go look at it, you don't have to read it, but you at least get the notification and it's there. Now, a couple years from now, a year from now, Instagram might have some privacy policies because you know a lot of you creeps are using this in a bad way. So they might actually take away your ability to message anybody you're not following. But for right now, we have to take advantage of the fact that we can message anybody on this platform. If you want to send a message to President Trump, you can. You can find him on there and message him. The Secret Service might be at your house in a couple hours, but you can do it. Now, guys, on a platform where there are so many other people marketing their services or businesses, we have to do something that stands out from the rest. And we can do that by connecting with people through Instagram DM. The first rule of the game is to actually connect with them. These people have to be interested in the value you are providing on the platform. Now, what do I mean by this? Let's say you're doing Amazon FBA and you're selling a beard trimmer and you're direct messaging women that don't have facial hair. You obviously haven't found somebody that you can provide value to. So the first step to take when finding people to actually direct message is to actually go to their profile and see whether or not they have a pain point that you can solve. So before you just go barging into somebody's DM, I want you to actually go through their profile and vet them. Vet them as a qualified lead for the service you provide and don't just be another creeper trying to hop in their DM. Now listen, I know a lot of entrepreneurs like Gary Vee will tell you to do this all manually yourself. But if anyone's ever read the book 4-Hour Workweek by Tim Ferriss, which I'll link below, you'll understand the importance of automating these processes. So today I'm going to show you how to use the contact tool in Jarvi to send direct messages, almost 180 a day, to qualified candidates in your targeted niche so you can explode sales for your business and generate leads daily and hopefully bring some more money to yourself. All right, guys, so the process is, before we hop into the computer, number one, find new Instagram accounts to target. Number two, look at their Instagram account and audit their profile. Number three, decide whether or not you bring them value. And number four, send the direct message. And then obviously number five, rinse and repeat. All right, so before we start, listen, some of you need to understand that success is a numbers game. Building anything worthwhile takes time and patience. You have to invest time and patience. You're not gonna build an internet conglomerate overnight. You have to plant the seeds now and watch that tree grow as you go along. So listen, be prepared to get a thousand unanswered DMs. Most people aren't even gonna reply, but don't get discouraged and don't get romantic about it. It's just all a part of the game. Now, just getting one reply, one yes, is gonna start to build that foundation, start to build that confidence level. So let's get the ball rolling. Let's hop into the computer. And I'll show you how to automate the system on Jarvi. Listen, I know you know what that song is, so don't be looking at this video crazy right now. It goes down in the DM. All right, let's hop to the computer, show you guys how to use the Jarvi contact tool to put this on autopilot. Now, for all you creeps out there, don't use this to send your unsolicited pictures. If I get a crazy picture after putting this video out here, I'm reporting you. I'll be the first one to tell right on you. All right, here's the Jarvi interface. Now, what you're gonna wanna do is go down to tools. I'm gonna do this for my business as if I'm generating leads for my own business, okay? So this is gonna be subjective. You're going to have to replace, replace the copy that you use, the message you use. If you're, you have to do what you have to do for your business. I'm just gonna show you what I do for mine, all right? And then you tweak it to how you need to, okay? So hop in a jar, here's the interface right here. You're gonna go down, you're gonna click on tools. Now here are your tool options right here. This is what you're going to be using contact. It's a little confusing. You're not going to direct messages, all right? If your contact tool is not here, come down to manage tabs, make sure that contact is checked. So if it's not checked, check it. Go back here, it should load up. So enter the contact tool. Now here's where you're gonna start at extract users. Now this can be very confusing if you don't know what you're doing, that's why I'm here to teach you how to do it. 
This is where we're going to the extract a list of users of people that aren't following us or that could be following us because we can actually scrape our own followers off our own accounts. Now, if you look at this, what's written here, this is how you're going to add the commands to extract users. For instance, if you want to extract the followers of Barack Obama and message them, you are going to type it exactly like this, followers dash Barack Obama. So let me show you guys how it works. Now for this, I'm going to target Gary V's followers because I know that Gary V's followers are interested in my content. Now some of his followers probably have businesses that they are leveraging social media to grow. That's their pain point. Their pain point being that they are having trouble growing on Instagram. My value is that I provide Instagram growth services. I provide all kinds of social media growth services. I don't generally have to go to their profiles and audit them because I know most of the people that follow Gary V are interested in entrepreneurship and I could provide value in some kind of way. So here's what I'm going to do. You are going to go down here to the extract users box. You are going to type followers dash Gary V. Now that is his account name. Make sure the account name's right. All right, make sure you've spelled everything right. Now you're gonna come down here. I'm going to skip non-English users because I speak English, kind of, and I'm going to check this box that says user has a minimum number of posts of 20, user has posted in the last 14 days, and the user is not following this account. So nobody that's following me currently, and I'm going to try to get, away, get rid of any bots that Gary Vee has following him. I know he has some bots following him. Nobody has a legit following. So that big anyways. All right, now we're gonna go down here. You're gonna see this is from before, so we're gonna remove that. So you're gonna have nothing here, okay? So now you're gonna go up, you got this written here, now you're gonna click extract users. Now you can put multiple things in here. You can extract from hashtags. You can extract from locations. You know, if you wanna extract from the local town and you know, try to hit on people, you, know, you could do that. Uh, hashtags, the likers of certain posts, commenters, all kinds of neat targeting options in this. This is powerful stuff. This is powerful stuff. This is more powerful than my right hand. All right, so, go, so now go to the bottom. You're gonna see that uh, the status of this extraction is pending. It's gonna extract 60 users and it'll let you know when it's done here. Now you can change the limit. Um, I would go with 180, that's what we're gonna to send today. That's the amount of messages we're gonna to send today. So change that to whatever you wanna send. Now we're gonna to have to wait for Jarvi, go through, do its thing, find all the users that match this criteria and it's gonna extract 60 of them. Sometimes it could take up to five to 10 minutes, so you know I'll be back when this is done. All right guys, we're back. Now Jarvi has completed his extraction. As you can see right down here, the status is done. It's extracted 60 users. Now where did these users go? Because there's nowhere up here that says we have 60 new users. All right, that's where we're gonna to go to use extracted users. All right, and they will all show up right here. As you can see, there's 60 of them, all right? All pulled from our criteria and ready to be messaged. So let me show you how this works. Now, as of right now, they're unselected, so he wants you to go down and click Select All, okay? Now, B, add messages to selected users. This is where we're gonna write our copy. As you can see, mine's already in here. What's really cool about this is Jarvi gives, gives us the option to write in these little bracketed commands here. Hey, username, do not use first name or last name or anything crazy like that because a lot of people don't put their real names in and if you, you know, for mine on our bullshit, it's tattoos. So I know when somebody sends me an automated message because it says, hey tattoos, that's not my name. My name's Ryan. So make sure you're going by their username, all right? I'm gonna help you build a little bit more trust. Nobody wants anything spammy. Do not get spammy with this or you're not gonna succeed. So this is my pre-written copy. You're, it's all subjective. Remember, you're gonna have to write what works for your business. This is where I promote my Fiverr automation. This is where I go for leads, okay? So hey, username, thank you for following my business account. Now, a lot of these people didn't, but they don't care. They're not really gonna even read it anyways. All my copy is in there. So that's the message that's gonna be sent to the users we scraped off Gary V's followers. And we're gonna go down here, and we're gonna add them to the send messages list. Very important, add to send messages list. 60 messages sent to send message, all right? Now. For those of you that want to auto DM your new followers, okay? So if you're running follow and unfollow and people are following you back and you wanna shoot them a little greeting or you wanna link out to your uh, YouTube or to your landing pages, this is how you would do that. Real ninja way to link people out to your other things going on. Send messages to new followers. So just make sure that the send message to new followers is checked. Send message only to users followed by the app. Make sure that's checked. 
You could uncheck it if you want and just send a message to everybody. But you know, it might get a little weird if your mom follows her and you try to link her out to your Instagram growth page. Again, just copy and paste the message down here in the syntax. Right down here, check for new followers around every 25 to 60 minutes. Go through the most recent 200 followers, which is fine. And uh, you could put a timestamp on it. So if you wanna make it a little more human-like, you could send them a message after 15 minutes, 10 minutes. Then you can hit, hit extract now. It'll populate a list of you know, some of the most recently followed people. But as long as down here in the send messages tab, as long as this is started, it will automatically send messages to new followers. So all right, here's your settings, guys. This is what you've all been waiting for. Before you turn that on, you're going to wait between 10 and 30 minutes before each new operation. You're gonna send between two and five messages for each operation with a delay of 90 and 180 seconds between each one. Message 60 per day, increase daily by five until it reaches 60 max messages per day. That's wrong. We're going to go 180, bam. The only other thing, um, you're not gonna worry about the secondary. I have pick a random member instead of the first one from the list below because you know it makes it more human-like. Delete pending messages older than three days. We're gonna change that to at least seven. Give them a week. Give them a week to look at the message or reply. Most people know it's there. If they're not gonna look at it, they're not gonna look at it, all right? Most people read it without accepting it. Execute between all day, 24 hours a day. And here we go. Here's all the users that are pending getting our beautiful message on Instagram. Here's the results. It'll tell you who has sent this. Now go back up here to the status and click start. And bam, you've just put direct message marketing on autopilot. So guys, I hope you implement this in your growth strategy. I hope you crush new leads. I hope you get a lot of business from this. And I hope you found value in this video. If you did, click the like button below. Please click the subscribe button so you can stay tuned for future videos. Make sure the notifications are on and I will see you in the next video.